Matt and Melanie Capobianco adopted a baby girl back in 2009, but four years later they were forced to give that baby girl up uh, to the biological father. So the biological mother wanted to put the baby up for adoption. Uh, she didn't feel like she could take care of the baby. However, uh, the father, the biological father of the child was in Iraq at the time. He was fighting the war. Oh, wow. um, and he also had a, a, a different child from another mother uh, that he did not have custody of. When he found out that the baby was given up for adoption, he started fighting for custody. Now, under something known as the Indian Child Wer Welfare Act, uh, he has the ability to get his biological daughter back because he is part of something known as the Cherokee Nation. And, uh, oh, they, really? Yeah. So, oh, so that's what controls here? That's trippy. Okay. Yeah. So that, because of the uh, Indian Child Welfare, Welfare Act of 1978, um, if you are part of a native tribe and uh, you fight for custody, it's much more likely that you will regain custody of that child uh, because this you know, act is trying to keep uh, Native American families together. Right, and uh, you know there might have been an issue in the past about how there people was. would take Native American kids yeah. away from them. So uh, that's understandable. But uh, let's assume for a second that he's not Native American, because that makes the story, uh, you know, even tougher. I guess. I mean, you know, because your heart goes out to the dad. I mean, he mm -hmm. was in Iraq, uh, and he didn't necessarily agree to uh, the situation. On the other hand, your heart also goes out to the parents who've been raising uh, the child for two years. So, what do you think is the right way to go? I don't, I wish I knew more information about the biological father. I know that he lives at home with his parents. Um, he had a child from a previous relationship that for some reason he doesn't have custody of. I mean, the adoptive parents are so loving and, and they've been with that child for four years. They raised that Oof. little girl for four years and now that four-year-old is being taken away from them. So I don't, I don't know where I stand on this. This is one of the stories where I feel torn. It's one of those stories that makes me angry because I feel like there isn't a cut and dry solution to it. It's not a black yeah. and white issue. I almost wish that the biological dad found a different solution. That's really easy to say and really hard to do, right? Because, you know, if he was not told and it's his kid, I think, you know, most people are going to say it's his kid and he's got the right to it. That's where my inclination is. On the other hand, if somebody's raised a kid for four years, you know, what kind of damages do the kid, let alone the, those parents, after they've given them a loving environment for four years? So, so here's, here's another uh, issue in this story that I think is important to bring up. Um, the two biological parents, after the baby was born, uh, were not in a good situation. They didn't want to stay together. And uh, the mother uh, says that he had signed a paper that granted her full custody of the baby. Mm -hmm. Right. So since she had full custody, uh, she had the ability to give the baby up for adoption. However, That's relevant. however, he is claiming that he did not sign that document, that he thought he was signing a document that indicated that she was going to have sole custody of the baby so she could raise the baby herself. And then maybe later on in the future, they could work things out and get back together. That's, I don't know if I'm buying that. Well, that's also believable, though, because mm -hmm. I'm not sure that you would assume full custody to one parent means they can give away the kid to adoption. Mm -hmm. So it's about as close a case as you could possibly have. I'm really not sure which way to go on it, to be honest. Right. Well, uh, It's I, almost as if we'd have to be real judges instead of fake ones. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, um, a judge, uh, a, an appellate court judge has uh, ruled that he does have custody of his biological daughter. And uh, the couple unfortunately had to, uh, well, I don't know if it's unfortunate, but the couple had to give the baby up and hand, it over to, hand her over to the biological father.